Welcome guys to our team call for Monday, March 5th, Monday today, because we have a very, very special guest on, Haley Christian. Now, if anything has ever gone viral in the Beachbody world, it's been her gangster rap connection video. I think everyone's seen it and everybody's loved it. And I, I see Gabby's here. Gabby is one of my um, business partners here. She's also an elite coach. And we got the, had the pleasure of watching you at Leadership. And you totally rocked it with Barbie Kalev up on stage. Now, the reason that Haley is so special to us is because I'm an introvert. Gabby's an introvert. Most of my team, we're all introverts. But we've learned how to bring it to mm -hmm. our social media and bring it because we have a purpose to fulfill, but that gets kind of scary, especially for new coaches. So it helps to hear stories of people like you who are totally rocking it. Let me tell you guys about Haley. So Haley came into the business and she didn't really work at it a lot, right? In the beginning, you stayed diamond for like a year because you were scared. Three years. Three years she mm -hmm. stayed diamond before she decided to really take off from her business because she was letting fear hold her back. But when Haley finally decided to get it together <laughs> and get out of her shell, she went from diamond to eight star diamond coach. She is a success club 10 legend. She is a six figure earner and she is a 2018 elite coach. So guys, get out your pads and listen to this girl because, you know, introvert, extroverts, you guys have an easier time talking to people. It takes a lot of effort for us introverts to get out of our shells and just serve it up for everybody. So let's listen to how the pro does it. <laughs> hey guys. Um, who I was just like in the middle of Netflixing. So I'm like a little bit like, eh. <laughs> pump it out right now. So um you guys i mean have you listened to the gangster app connections yes and raise your hand if you have if you haven't it's right in the beach body champions page you can just see it like if you scroll one or two times you'll see it but i'm not going to share my whole story because i shared a lot of it on that um but just to like bring it back i'll tell you a little bit so right before beach body i was a hairdresser and a bartender so most days i worked 19 hour days um and um, that was just, that was literally no life. I had a brand new nephew at the time. I had to write out notes to the managers. Dear manager, may I please be able to see my nephew? Like, no. So um, that just gave me super, super bad anxiety. I felt so stuck. I didn't know about this opportunity at all. So, yeah, and if I did, I would think it was fake anyway. I think everything's fake. I'm like, the other day, not too long ago, <laughs> this is a total side note. I, um, I always wear like these winter Neff hats when it's cold and I got this message on Instagram from Sean Neff and I was like, oh, scam, what does he want? Uh, I thought it was like some guy that was just trying to scam me and I was about to be mean to him and I told Patrick, I'm like, Sean Neff messaged me talking about like whatever. He's like, Haley, that's the owner of, Sean, of Neff. He, I think he just really wants to help. So obviously I actually just read his message and he did just give me like a bunch of free money basically to buy all this stuff um to promote his his brand but like that's how thing i think everything's fake um so i definitely wouldn't have believed in the opportunity if i saw it but now <clears throat> i do try to show share it every single day with an invite and i'll share more about that in a little while but like everyone's just scrolling nowadays you have to let people know that you're not just like, oh, hey, look at me, but like, hey, look at me, but I can help you as well. So I'm always trying to be people's sign every single day because I don't know if I would have fell for it, but you never know. Maybe I would have. Um, so I, I didn't know about the opportunities. So instead of like trying to find something new, I didn't have time to do that. I just kind of like um, just did bad things to just to get over my days. I would just like buy Adderall off of people. It was just like a prescription drug that I don't have ADD. You take it when you have ADD. I don't think I do, but um, it was a lot of money and it's not good for you if you don't have ADD. And then at night I was just like a drunk bartender. So that over time, like made me crazy, really mean and helped me. It, I gained like 25 pounds. Um, so I ended up some girl actually, I still haven't said thank you to this girl. I need to, I talk about her all the time. She comes in 
to my job and I haven't seen her since high school. And she was like, damn girl, you got thick. I was like, okay. I mean, I got three girls. I have three sisters. Not one of them could tell me that. That's messed up. But I was really, I'm super grateful for her. Because of her, I did P90X because I have it. I had it sitting there forever. And um, I, I hate the gym. I can't do it. So awkward. Um, so that's the one thing that like made me happier. I took control over myself. And even though I wasn't a hundred percent with it, I did not miss a workout. I didn't know about Shakeology yet. So, um, I ended up losing like 10 pounds and helping like five people get P90X without knowing I could get paid for it or, you know, be their coach or make it a job. Um, then my sister randomly asked me how the whole hairdressing thing was going. Cause I was kind of new at the time. And I, instead of, I lied to the world, you know, I'm always like, come visit me at the salon. I'm working from nine to five. Like how everyone else in the world just lies about being happy with their job. Come visit. I'm like, that was me forever. Like pretending and pretending and pretending because I just went to school for it. And it was like a big deal. And like everyone, like it's just what you're supposed to do, you know? So now I see other hairdressers being like, come visit. I'm like, you hate your job. I know you do. <laughs> you know, everyone's like, come visit me at the coffee shop. I'm like, no, you don't like it. I mean, maybe they do. But um, I can usually call out when someone's being fake. And I, same thing with like a smile. And someone's giving me a fake smile, I know they're not really happy. And pictures, I can usually tell when someone's not really happy. I, I just learned the other day actually what an empath was. Uh, it's me. And I just made like a nice follow up all about being an empath. And I was like, you know what? I did a great follow-up and I was like, I just learned what, a, what an empath was and really hurts my heart knowing that you took the time to fill out my application and you didn't go through, you know, I really like took it and I ran with it and I'm going to sign up all the people in the world and help all the people in the world because, um, I, it's, I really do care what people say and what people do. And, you know, if I'm out to eat with my family, we all don't get along. That's how it is. You should see me. I'm the hottest mess there. I'm like, <laughs> Someone just said something to my mom. Oh my God. So I'm like the hottest mess, but I do care so much what people think, how they feel. Um, if they're like messing with their clothes, you guys know, like, you're just like, Oh my God, can I help that person? Um, so anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, so I just, Instead, like, I didn't know about this opportunity, like I said, so I just kept going along with the days, like, pretending and pretending and pretending. My sister told me about the opportunity, because I was, she randomly asked me about the hairdressing job, and I was like, um, it's not great. <laughs> I can't lie to her, you know, I'm not going to keep lying to the world, but um, I'm not going to lie to her. I said, I wish I could work for Beachbody. Uh, and she's like, pretty sure you can. Uh, and I said, how? Am I supposed to call it Beachbody and ask? And she said, because, like, guys, I hated Facebook. I didn't go on social media at all. I hated it. If I ever went on, I was drunk and I deleted any girl that took a selfie. Um, I just, it didn't make any sense to me. So I hated it. I didn't know about it. Um, so my sister was like, actually, this guy seems pretty successful. I met him at a yoga studio. Do you want me to get in touch with him? And I said, I don't care. You know, she's all like salesy and uh, like professional. I'm going to set you a call up. And I'm like, whatever, man. So I got on the call. I signed up with him that day. It's Keith Callahan. A lot of people might not know him because he doesn't really post on Facebook or anything ever anymore, but like he probably makes like more than like Amy Silverman. Uh, he's insanely like successful, um, but he, he builds differently. He does not need to show up. Like he just has an awesome team. He has like 25, five stars in his downline or more. Um, so anyway, I, uh, let's see. Like I said, I was a diamond forever, so I said I was going to be all in since day one. And the like, sad part is, since day one, I really did believe it. Since the second I started, I was like, I am doing so good. <laughs> you know, I am showing up every day. Just because I posted every day, I thought I was actually like, really working hard and like, answering people's comments. <laughs> I'm working so hard. No, I just never got on my comfort zone. I never messaged people, never friend requested. That's all part of the Gangster Up Connections video. I just didn't do all that stuff. Um, so I stayed the same for, I was literally like last March, like a year ago, I was in and out of one star. And then I went from one star to eight star, nine star qualifying in one month, just because I kept going. So like, please just keep going. Um, so many people quit before all that magic happens. 
Oh yeah, I am 12 star combined now, which is so crazy. Um, so this is like kind of gonna be all over the place because there's like uh, so many like little topics that I have like all over because I know I'm recruiting, but I also want to talk about how to have fun because like so many people like hear these trainings like I'm gonna diamond dash right now with Amy Silverman. Um, like I'm part of it. I'm one of the speakers. This is my week actually. Amy Silverman, Rain Dow, Moira, whatever, and um, I mean they're like I learned so much, but it's all like business and I, I like getting down to business too but you also can't forget to have fun with this business you know i had i had the jobs that i wasn't happy with already like I, why do i want that again i don't freak out about crazy ass numbers i do go really high i aim really high but i'm not gonna like get in a bad mood or sad if i don't hit him like i don't go crazy on my team like are you gonna do that like yeah i do push my team like I, my, my coach told me to push your team into success or push them out. Cause if they're going to be out, they're going to put on you anyway. But like, I don't freak out about it. Like I, I let it go to the universe. If they're going to want to work the business, they're going to be successful. Like I will never stop having fun. Um, I'm going to get into the fun part for like just one second. Um, so it might take us a little bit longer because we're like super shy and scared and have to find ourselves. Once you find yourself, it's just fun. Like you have to, it took me like a long time to find myself because when I was new, I tried to be a beach body coach. Like I, if you scroll, I literally have pictures of me like acting like Shakeology is a baby. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like every other freaking coach. And I was like, Oh my God, I still have them just cause I want people to see like, Oh my God, she used to suck. So, and started from the bottom, you know? And then, you know, I used to do screenshots of like 21 day fix. I was that bad. So I tried to be a beach body coach. That didn't work. Um, actually Bonnie Engel, I heard her say the other day, like she asked other entrepreneurs to creep her and creep her sneak peeks and creep everything and said like, what's the one thing, like, what's something that you can help me with, which is really smart, by the way. Um, all the people said all beach buddy coaches are the same. So I, that's the one thing I don't want to be like, I don't want to be the same as anybody. Like that's the only way to be successful. I think in this business yeah, it might take you a little longer because you're not for again scamming every single person in the world, but like you are yourself, you know? Um, so hold on. I also tried to be professional. <laughs> I tried doing that for a little while. That sucked. My, you know, I used to make my husband reread my posts and, um, I don't like seeing where's everyone's faces, by the way, get in here. Um, I see people, some people's faces, but a lot of words. I'm like, come on now. Um, so I tried to be professional for a little while. I used to make my husband reread my posts and I talk crazy. Like I just, a lot of times I don't even make sense, but the people that understand, um, <laughs> that, that, that get my personality, they sign up with me and we're best friends and we talk all the time. The people that don't keep it moving, you know? Um, but like I try to be professional. My husband used to reread my posts, change the way I talk. Um, take away all the explanation points. Don't, you know, take the, make it perfect. And it's not cause he was being mean. It's cause I asked him to do that. And, um, and I just had weird people coming my way. Like I'm interested. I'm like, what? like, we, like this is not my language. Like, okay. It just wasn't fun. I was like, okay, this is, we're not connecting here. This doesn't make any sense. Like this is not fun. This is not a fun job. So I stopped doing that. And then I also, for a little while, I tried being like other coaches because I was like, okay, I duplicate them and replicate, do it. And I didn't, I just wasn't, it was fake. And like, I can call out fake people. I was fake. I was trying to be like, like this, this people I was looking up to, you know, and it wasn't real and people could see it. Like you can see right through that. So, um, then I started comparing, I started getting down on myself. I started getting mad and I, I started blaming, you know, like, Oh my God, like since it's cold in the morning, people aren't signing up. They're so lazy. And like, I would actually believe it. So that's like so sad. Right. And then, so I just realized like I was making no money trying to be somebody else. Um, like none, <laughs> not enough to survive. This like, that's just no. Um, so this is a quick quote actually from you are a badass. Wanting to be somebody else is a waste of who you are. So I just had to think like, who am I really? Who am I? I'm not professional. I'm super shy and awkward, pretty ghetto. <laughs> I love pizza and I'm never gonna not eat it like ever. 
I'm, and I'm super flirty and confident. Um, I'm confident because this is a gift and I know that it's changed my life and I know it could change so many other people's lives with it if they act like it's a gift as well. But um, that's what I am. And like, I'm, I'm not gonna, people don't know how scared we are you know, behind the phone. So people love me. Like my husband loves me because I'm my weird self in front of him. He loves me so much. Tells me like a million times a day. So I'm like, okay, well, if he loves me so much, <laughs> I'm pretty cool. So I'm going to just share it with everyone. So I just share my weird jokes. I share like I, when I mess up on words, because to me, perfection is like not attractive. So I used to follow some coaches and I would see them on the zoom call speaking. And I would just look at them like, I could never do that. You know, I mess up so many times. You know how many notes I have that don't make any sense right here? Like on my story, um, sometimes like the last week or something, I was saying, do you want to, you don't have to make this a full-time job. You can just do this to get your cell phone bill paid for. And I could not say cell phone bill paid for. I was like, cell phone bill paid for. And I was like, ah, and I hit send anyway on the story. Cause I was like, that's not perfect at all. And it's so funny because I'm such an idiot. And then I just started laughing in the next story being like, oh my God, I can't even talk. Are you serious? Everyone, you know, that was like, ha, 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 you're so funny, were my people. The rest of people that thought I was crazy, bye, you know? Um, so you just have to really own it. And <laughs> like on your Insta story, if you watch YouTube videos with your husband or something or your boyfriend or your whatever, girlfriend, and you're, they're stuck in your head. Like sometimes I'll just say a stupid joke that makes no sense to like 99% of the people. Like, do you ever see the stupid YouTube video? Like, I'm just gonna send it. Probably not. I'm probably a guy. If a guy saw is on this thing, they probably are you silly? I'm just gonna send it. So anyway, I would say I'm just gonna send it, and like no one would get it. And then like three people, like, dude, my husband made me watch that stupid video. You're hilarious. I'm like, oh my god, where are you from? And then now we're best friends. Um, or like a dream I had, I had a dream that I had a threesome or something or like my teeth fell out and I would say my dream. Oh my God, I just had the craziest dream this morning. My teeth fell out. I couldn't even believe it. And so whoever else had a dream that their teeth fell out, <laughs> they would be able to like, dude, I had the dream before. It's messed up. Dude, where are you from? You know, like just people think, oh, my life's boring. Like, no, it's not. Your thoughts are crazy. Share them. <laughs> it's the only way to make you different is by sharing who you really are and what the way you think. It's just fun. You have to have fun with it. Um, so now for recruiting, like that's just the have fun part. Like you have to guys, you, I'll, I'll get into more of like a little bit more of that, but like you just, otherwise like this is another job that you kind of like sometimes, like I want to love my life. That's why I quit the other jobs, you know? Um, so the recruiting, it's like kind of weird to think about. I'm like, okay, so to talk about to duplicating or recruiting it's kind of like the same thing to me but to recruit the main thing i wrote over here is i'm constantly putting out my vibe like that's how i recruit i don't recruit just randoms i could if i wanted to but like i don't want to like i want to recruit me so remember this everyone equals no one so if you're like hey everyone i'm trying to do this group on thursday and something Everyone, everyone's like, not me. She's not talking to me, you know? If you're, like, same thing. So say if you're, like, um, like on Facebook and you're like, hey, everyone, I'm having a party on Thursday. Bring a snack. You know, everyone would scroll by it and they're like, no, I'm not that good at friends with her. It's not me. She's not talking about me. You know what I mean? You have to be super specific in who you're talking to. You have to talk to the old, you're like, hey, if you live in this area and you have black hair, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you should come over with, you know, I'm talking to you. And they're like, oh, wait, I think she's, that's me. That's me. you will be super specific. Um, so I'm always talking to the old me. So I'm signing up people with super shy introverts, have anxiety that hate their legs, that had really big legs, um, didn't feel like they have a purpose in life. Hair, hairdressers, bartenders, my team, that's it. So you got to share that. Otherwise, you're going to have a bunch of randoms all over the place um, that are probably just going to quit because they don't understand you, you know? Um, so, um, let's see, I, this is really important. I stopped, you know how Beachbody, when you were new, it's like post three to five times a day. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. Like I try so hard to make the best one post. I'm lucky if I do two. I feel so cool if I do three, but, um, 
my one post, I put all my attention in. So my one post has to be scroll stopping. This is literally how I recruit. Like the sounds might, might be stupid. It's not all the messages, even though that doesn't matter. But scroll, you have to have scroll stopping photos. And it's not because I have pink hair that I'm scroll stopping. All this happened to me when I had blonde hair. Um, so I just, that's not, I know how people think like she's just looking, she has pink hair. No, it all happened before. Um, but scroll stopping, like, would you stop at it? You know how they have the Instagram uh, explore page? Are you like, they're going to stop scrolling at your picture? So I care so much about that one photo. And that one photo has to, you know, share a little bit about my story and an invite. Um, otherwise, it's just, oh, cool, she's just another person in the social media world that likes to take pictures of herself. You know what I mean? So you always try to, like, honestly, I would say 98% of my pictures have an invite. Um, because you never know, like I'm always, you have to be that sign for people. What if people don't know they, they have a way out of that job, you know, or they can lose five to 15 pounds in three weeks from home. You have to let people know always, um, don't think you're repeating yourself and who cares if you are. Um, now let's see here. So scroll stopping photos, I guess I can get into it for a quick second. Do you have a timer on your uh, zoom? No. Thank God. Hold on. Let me just <laughs> It won't be that long, I promise. But so scroll stopping, like, would you follow you? You wouldn't follow somebody, first of all, promoting things like psychology, same old um, flexing. You just wouldn't. Uh, would you follow somebody with the same exact selfie all the time? No. So you got to break it up. Like if you're always up close, like next picture. Like So before I post on Instagram, I have to say, what did I just post? So I just posted a picture of me up close. So the next picture has to be either like a mirror picture because that's far away, an actual far away using the timer, me being outside, um, me, like my view of the camera, you know, like a picture of a cool drink or something, my dogs, to break it up because photos matter. It's not just um, network marketing, it's attraction marketing. So if I go to your page and it's the same shit, like I'm immediately not gonna ever go back. So they make a decision in one second. Um, so also, what is it called? Filters. Filters matter and it might not seem like a big deal, but it's actually like the biggest deal. Um, if you don't have one same filter that you stick to, they won't follow you. You might think I'm crazy, but for the most part, girls are crazy, guys are crazy. They go to a page, they're gonna be like, she has a black and white photo. She has a friggin' slumber from Instagram filter. She has this Instagram filter, super blown out thick picture. No, no, it's too all over the place. If you go and it all flows, they're going to be like wanting to keep looking and just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah follow. So, um, I use my filter from Visco, V S C O. I would tell you my exact filter, but it's pointless because like you have different skin color than me, you might have different hair color than me, you have different lighting than me, background than me, if you're out, like whatever, it's always, it's gonna be different, you have to find one that works for you. It took me like a whole night, one night, so I was like, I hate my Instagram, I need to change it. I messed around with like 20 photos outside, inside, to see if it would look good together, and I finally found one. Um, so, hold up, hold up, one second. Um, okay. I gave Instagram stories my number one attention. Like, yeah, uh, I, it's more important to me than my Instagram. I mean, I would never not miss a day posting, but it's more important to me than anything else. It's my number one priority. So if you guys make it your number one priority in a year from now, it will blow you up. But you, it, to me, it's just like everything else. Like it's either all in or all out. So like, either literally all in or don't do it at all because if you, if you go half in, half out, you're literally taking time away from yourself and your family because nobody will ever join somebody that's half in, half out. So just do it or don't. So I love it because again, I can totally um, be myself and with pictures, I can still be myself, but it's just one post, one picture. And when you're with the Instagram story, like they get to know how weird I really am um how everything about me like i will do any everything um so i don't know i just and I, my instagram stories i also no matter what i haven't done it today i've been crazy i'm freaking going to boston again on thursday 
anyway, and I'm doing the diamond dash on the speaker this week. So I'm like, I want to die a little bit, but, um, no matter what every day, no matter what I'm either inviting to the business opportunity or I'm inviting to a challenge group, but I don't just be like, Hey guys, <laughs> Today, I'm going to invite to the challenge group. It's called Crunch Time, and it starts, no, I'm like, hey, like, I will share my dream, a dream I had. I will share, I just do my hair. Oh, my God, this is where I get my hair, um, my hair color, mascara, or a funny joke, or a YouTube video, or something. I'll just talk to them for a second, nothing to do with Beachbody. Then I'm like, okay, cool. Oh, my God, I'm so excited to tell you about this new group that's coming up. So, you know, it's, my next group call is called Crunch Time. Sometimes I add the AF to it, because the reason why... It's called crunch time is because it is summer's coming. It's time to get your shit together because it took me six challenges to get my results and it's friggin' March. So like I, I'm telling a little bit of story being like, dude, it's called crunch time because it's time. And I'll tell a story about myself being like, I remember last summer or whatever, when I first, before coaching, I used to refuse going to the beach. You know, I'd buy tanning packages because I didn't want people to see me in my bathing suit. But I just, I don't want to do that. I didn't want to do that anymore. I don't want you to do that either. So like, why don't you just trust me? You know? Um, and I know for a fact you can lose five to 15 pounds in three weeks from home or your money back. Like you watch me, you're watching me right here right now. Like why not give it a chance? Um, swipe up if you want to join, I have 30 spots available, you know, or if you don't have the swipe up option, I always, before that, I kept being like, send me a message here. I would circle where it says send message. When you're doing your own story, you can't see where it says send message because it's just blank, but just know it's there. So just circle nothing and do a friggin' arrow to it. Um, and then I used to be like, send me a message if you want to join. There's 30 spots available. Oh, there's 26 spots available. There's 20 spots available. Link in bio, link in bio, link in bio. I have a link tree in my bio. So, and I, after that, my last one would be a screenshot of my bio circling where the link tree was with an arrow. Like that's how people need to see it step by step. Otherwise they're going to be like, no, 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 bye. So you got to be like, this is it. This is how you do it. I can help. I can help. Even when I'm doing my Instagram story, I always do a couple little workout clips. I will do like an arrow to where it says send message, need a coach arrow. Like all I say, like message me, swipe up, just how to do it like three times a day, basically, just to like quick remind people. Um, so uh, no matter what, invite to my Instagram, uh, to something, even, even if it's a, my sneak peek into coaching, that's free group. Now I just, I just made a free sneak peek into challenge groups for the first time ever. Um, tomorrow's my day of talking, but like, that's another free group to invite to. So it's like, Hey, if you're interested, I could say after you hit success club, and you're like, dude, you know, if you're interested in this, but you're just too scared to commit because you're a big baby, all you got to do is just like send me a message right here and I have a private group explaining exactly what it is. Free, free groups, guys. That's free. Um, people are always like, do you run free groups? I'm like, yeah, not that way though. Um, so let's see. Um, <laughs> I, I message people all the time, guys. Like just because people come to me now after doing Gangstrap Connections for a whole entire year straight, I won't ever count on people coming to me. That's scary. You know, I'm no matter what throwing out like messages daily. I still do my thank yous. I still do. And I mean, I have a lot of people to thank. I don't do like every single one. Now I at least do like 20 a day. The other day, some girl I'm doing the diamond dash and some girl, she was like, had a list and it was one, two, big, huge list, big, huge list. And I was like, can I ask you what that is? And uh, she was like, that's my invites every day. I'm like, what? She was at 61. I was like, trying to one up me. So I, I realized that last week that my best is not my best. So like, you'll always be like, oh shit, I can do better. And hopefully right now it's like, that's what you're thinking. Oh shit, I can do better. Like 20 a day. I, I was like, oh my God, I suck. So now I'm, I'm doing like way more. I just, you don't realize that what else you can do until like somebody schools you. You're like, whoa. So it's, I just realized the other day, I'm like, okay, it's time to step my game up. Because for a little while, I was like, I'm doing awesome. <laughs> and it's time to like run really fast. I'm like super excited. I got a super, from the diamond dash, I got super excited all over again. It's not like I ever lost it, but like seeing some girl that's not even, she's not even that successful yet. She's like hitting like successful like 100 and I'm like how and she's like, here 
the list. She has 60 people a day. No shit, she does 100. You know what I mean? So I'm at, I did the math. Her success partner, this is totally random, she hits Success Club 200 almost every single month. And I did the math, that's $10,000 a month. I'm like, oh, okay, so I can do that if I really wanted to. We all could do it. Um, so I always say this to my team, they think I'm nuts. I say, if you had to do something or your dogs would run away or you would get kicked out of your house, so say if you needed to hit Diamond by the end of March or your dogs would run away, you'll never see them again, or your boyfriend would ne never come back, you would hit it. You would call everyone you need, you would take everyone out to coffee, message everyone on your inbox, message everyone on Instagram, you would make it happen no matter what. So like, why don't we act like that every single day? So last March, is that's when I started acting like that, um, and I just never stopped. Like, I still message people, I still do the follow-ups, I mean, people follow, People follow me, I, I send them a message, um, and I don't just send them a message, I also like usually continue the conversation and just invite them. Guys, do I have my phone with me? I want to share some of my invites really quick. Actually, my, hold on, really quick. Kelsey, I send it to my friend Kelsey, hold on. Um, this is the easiest invite you'll ever find. Please make it your own words. This is just a quick example. Hey baby, if I provided you with a meal plan and a 30 minute workout and 30 minute workouts daily for six weeks, I said six weeks just because I don't like saying 21 days. I don't like saying 80 days. I don't like sound like a beach body coach. Six weeks is just two challenges. Would you hold yourself accountable with me? Figured since you're watching me, you might want to do this together. Talk soon, XO. Like, Imagine if you sent out 60 of those, people that are watching your story, people liking your stuff, people that are following you. If you have a business account on, on, on Instagram, why wouldn't you send that out to everyone? It's a business and they're following you and they're liking your stuff. Act like it's a business and invite them to it. So I've been doing that and it's like been crushing. Well, I've been crushing life with that, with that invite. Um, same thing with the follow-ups. Like if you just follow up from the heart, it's like, oh my God, you can sign anybody up. So um, now, yeah, I mean the whole like, are you, a co I always say, are you a coach? A lot of times, are you a coach? Are you on a health and fitness journey? And I, I, I hate the word journey for some reason. I just do. I think it sounds so dumb, but I say, are you a coach or on a health and fitness journey? Parentheses. Ha ha. I don't know why I hate saying that word, but I just do. Um, where are you from? I can't wait to get to know you more. And I, I used to just say like, have a good day. Bye. And like end it. But I, I have to ask that question because I really want to know if I could help them. It's a business. They're messaging me. They're liking my stuff. I'm going to ask them, um, like th those questions. I'm not scared guys. Don't be scared. Just hit send. And they said, they usually say, no, I just watched you for motivation guys. It's the easiest invite of all times. Hey girl, if I provided you with, you know what I mean? 30 minute meal, uh, workouts, whatever, whatever I just said. Um, would you want to hold yourself accountable with me? Yes. You know? Um, and then of course I've been adding like, uh, my group starts the 12th. I'm closing it on Thursday. Do you want me to save you a spot? And if you usually do that, it kind of like hits them like, Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, so now I duplicate that. So the reason I have like an awesome team and making money now, um, is because I duplicated it. I don't just recruit, 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 bye, 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 like see you later in a month, like they're leaving. I, I duplicate myself. Um, so when I have new people coming on my team, it's pretty easy because they already do what I do. You know, that's the key right there. Like how the F do you expect to have an awesome team if you're not awesome? You know what I mean? You're like, how come they're not? <laughs> inviting every day because uh, you're not how come they're not using their Instagram story every day because you're not how come they're not doing scroll stopping photos because you're not you know so my whole team these girls come on with automatic scroll stopping photos because they know like okay well this is what you gotta do because Haley does it um so of course I have a training on how to do scroll stopping photos is the easiest thing go in front of a window or go outside use the other a lot of times guys I've been using this camera instead of the, the selfie kind makes it way more uh, crisp but um they invite 
with this, like in their posts, they always do a piece of their story with an invite. Um, on their Instagram story, they always do a little bit of their day with an invite. And then they're always doing thank you messages, following follow up messages. Why are you following me messages? Same exact thing that I was just talking about. They do it all because I do it. So I just, that's it. Like that's all you're going to do is be yourself, be proud of it, have fun doing it. And then share every little bit of you. I heard this um, quote, live out loud. That's what we do is we live out loud and then your team will do the same. And then it's just all of a sudden you have an awesome team that you just love talking to all the time. Um, so why am I still here? Still, you know, I could have totally dropped rank. You know, I had I think three, maybe even four, three diamonds, maybe quit. Um, but I created more, you know, I'm never just waiting on the ones to keep going. I don't like if people want to quit. I little I'm like, bye. I used to get so sad. I mean, sometimes, you know, I do get, I'll cry for like a day. I'm like, Oh my God, I'm so sad. I love that girl. It's like a breakup, you know, but I'm like, Hey, bye. I'm, I gotta go. Um, because honestly, sometimes quitters, they make me work harder to show them like what the F they're missing. I'm like, well, 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 you're going to like hate yourself. You're going to hate yourself. Um, so I, I just, I just, you just have to keep going. Um, but the reason why I'm still here is because, yeah, I never count on anyone. I'm always duplicating myself like over and over and over again. Another quick tip. Um, I really make emerald and diamond. No big deal. I say the emerald, you know, when I'm doing my new coach calls, I say um, emerald in a day, diamond in 30 days. It's, if you act like it's a big deal, if you say, if you're going to be emerald for the next six months, they're going to be like, oh, so hard if you're like emerald in 30 days put out your diamond tracker and there you go i want to see it like every week it will happen like if you just say and again if if you needed to make it happen it would happen <laughs> and i tell them that if you needed to make this happen or you get kicked out of your house would you make it happen yes then you can do it that's what i said to them cool um <clears throat> but the reason why i'm still here yeah i don't count on anyone but i also act like i'm still desperate i still act like the person I think it was like two years ago, maybe even less than that, crying in a grocery line, watching my husband flip through cards to see which money, which card we can use to buy groceries. I still act like that person because I don't want to count on anybody. I always want my own money. I always want, you know, me to be successful. I want to make a name for myself. Um, and I just do that every day because we never know, guys. Why? I just don't understand why sometimes people act like, there's another life coming for them one day. Like one day this is going to work, you know? And if I keep going, this will just, I understand. Yes. If you keep going, this will work out for you, but you have to keep going, but work while you like, keep going. Like stop acting like one day, this is going to work out one day. I will have a team. It's not going to happen unless you work right now for it. Um, I think, hold on one second. Um, I have notes everywhere. I just feel like compiling them into my own. So I was like, hold on. Um, so excited. Oh, one last thing. So a really good tip is to act like your own follower. I creep myself more than I creep anybody else. I don't care about anybody else. I care about myself. And I mean, I care about my, my coaches and my team, but like, I don't care about the other coaches. Um, that's not me. So I, I mean, yeah, it's cool to get ideas once in a while, but like, I honestly don't like even doing that. Cause I start comparing, you know, I just follow my own self. I'm always just happy with where I am. Cause guys, we're making money from like flirting with girls, um, becoming, getting awesome results and always being better from our phone. Like, be happy with that check that you have. Just always know that you can be better. Um, so I'm, a, I'm my own follower. Like I said, about the whole, like, change up the way your Instagram is if it's the same shit all the time. So if I'm bored with it, I will change something. I will make my hair brighter. I'll get a different lipstick. I will change my part in my hair. I will change my, get different type of outfits, different colors. Um, like I said, different angles. I'll, I'll, I'll go outside. Like once a month, I will go um, take pictures um, against brick walls, white walls, like 
uh, use a tripod, use, you know what I mean? And the clicker, like just take cool pictures. I, who cares if people are looking at you? Like you can be like, I'm making money from this. I always say um, to everyone, to all these stupid girls, oh, no, I sound so mean, but these girls taking selfies for free. I always say, do you want to like get paid for your selfies? Like, what are you doing? You know, do you want to help people with them? So I do tell on my stories a lot. I'm always like all these girls talking about uh, having, you know, the, with no, with nothing just because I'm like, don't you want to make money with that just because selfie or at least um, get your cell phone bill paid for? That's what I said in the uh, story. Don't you want your cell phone to actually work for you? You know what I mean? Instead of you working for it. Um, you don't have to always just quit your job. Like you can at least make this a side hustle, you know, and get that cell phone bill paid for. Uh, but I'm also like a super, I'm a, I'm a not nice. I'm like kind of a bitch. And I think that everyone's out to get me. I think that everyone's a scam. I think that everyone's lying. So the way I post is to that person. So I'm always like, you know, I know that you think I'm lying. I know you think I'm bullshit right now. I do, trust me. I do, but I'm not, you know, before this opportunity, I was doing this, 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 and that. Now I'm getting to do this, 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 and that. I'm only posting right now. I hate it. I hate selfies. I'm only doing this to be that sign for you. You know, like that's, I am talking to the old me because I know that I wouldn't fall for it. I wouldn't fall for a shake. I wouldn't fall for a friggin' muscle photo. So I have to act like I'm reading it as my old self, which is I'm not that nice. So I don't know how you yourself used to be or what you used to fall for or not fall for but always act like you are trying to get sold you know um so if you also if you feel awkward you know making your your instagram story you feel like ah i look too awkward like don't do it then if you feel awkward looking at your own story don't hit send um i know you gotta you got to turn into the person it takes time. You got to keep showing up no matter what. It's going to be awkward regardless in the beginning. If you ever looked back at any of my live videos, are you serious? My face was bright red. I never smiled. It was disgusting, but you just have to keep doing it. It gets a little bit easier, but, um, and a huge tip that one of my coaches used to hit like success club, eight, six, maybe sometimes 10. I just knew she would crush it if she smiled, um, during her workout. I said, do me a favor, smile during your workout. Just see what happens. She started hitting higher numbers than me. And I was hitting like 50, 60, you know, she's hitting higher than me. And she was like, dude, that smile thing, like everything. I'm like, I know. People aren't attracted. Like, it's just weird seeing somebody work out. I understand like, you don't have to actually do your workout during your Instagram story. I always do my workout like disgusting and ugly. And then I will do like two moves later when I look good. I'm like, I'm going to smile and just have fun because I want people to think that it's actually fun doing this. And, um, like people are attracted to your energy when you're like smiling. It's, it's huge, a huge difference. Try doing that for a whole entire week and watch your whole business change. Just smile during your workout, have fun. And you'll actually end up having more fun. Um, I feel like being so graphic. All right. Yeah, guys, I just love my team so much. I literally have to schedule like hour calls with them. I, I wouldn't do it if I didn't have time, but because I love them so much, um, because I attracted myself. So recruiting is not like, it seems like, oh, just message everyone. That's it. Yeah, I don't honestly think that messaging is 95% of this business. The posting and everything else is like five. Only reason why I post is so my messages make sense. So message like i say if you're gonna do like that girl does 61 i was doing 20. it would take me an extra probably 10 minutes to do the rest just do more you know hit higher numbers imagine if you did and you'd make in that ten thousand. you know i was just saying that's insane so show yourself what you're made of like you never know until you like really need it to happen and if you act like you really need it to happen right now it would so Please, I know it's kind of late. Feel free to ask questions. I know that was all over the place, but I hope you can learn something. All over the place, but all over the place in a really good way because I totally followed you with your train of thought and everything. Um, I have a question for you. So you said that in the beginning, you said you were all in and you believed it, but you sat at Diamond for three years. What was that that made you switch? Um, 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I usually don't do calls on Mondays. It's like my day to like chill. So don't. My, okay, perfectly all over the place. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and plus, I was just Netflixing. Okay, guys. <laughs> so it was when I moved. I moved from Boston to North Carolina, and my husband was supposed to get a job, and it fell through. So it was just my diamond money. And I was like, when I was in Boston, I always had the bartending job just in case I didn't make enough money. And that was every single week. So I didn't have that extra plan B just in case money anymore. So I actually had to make this work. So like, I don't know if you have to quit that plan B job. And like for a couple months, like six months, guys, I had no money. We could not go out to eat. All I could do was like go to the beach because that was free. Take my dogs for walks because that was free. You know, eat like super cheap meals that we, we made here. But for the first time in my life, I was the happiest because I wasn't on a schedule for the first time ever. And I was working for myself and I knew that if I kept going, what could happen? So that's, I, I enjoyed making no money because I wasn't on a schedule and I knew it was going to, you know, really pay off. But it was when I was desperate. My coach always told me you got to be super desperate or inspired to be successful with this business. And I was never inspired enough. I don't know what you guys got to do to become desperate, but it's kind of sad if you have to come to that place. Hopefully you can just pretend like you are, like I was saying, and make it happen. That's so true. Very true. With the rest of you guys, I know you have questions. I love questions. And if you guys look at her Insta story, like all she does is invite. She's like, she has no shame. And it's like, some of us are like, oh, but I already posted that. Oh, but I already said that. I don't want to do that again. All day long, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Figure earner. So yeah. Know. And um, you got to have 10K, 10,000 followers to have a swipe up option. I, I worked really hard to get there. <laughs> but it's a good goal. But um, yeah, I always invite, always, always, always. I forgot what I was going to say, so you can go ahead. Any other questions for Haley? Somebody asked, how do you add swipe up to IG? I actually want to know that myself. You have to have the 10,000 followers. Got it. You just answered that. Okay. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Like before that, I didn't have it forever. I just kept being like, send message, send message, send message, arrow. Link and bio, link and bio, link and bio, like every single time. That's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> so Haley, let me ask Thank you. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Oh, that was thank awesome. You. I'm a little ghetto too, you thank know. You. I get it, I get it. How did I grow it to 10K? I just never stopped. Uh, when you, another thing to make yourself get more followers is get a better transformation. The second I'm like, oh, God, I need to change something. I'm like, get a 21-day transformation really quick. And I do it, and I'm like, damn, all of a sudden you get, like, a bunch of followers. Because, I mean, a three-year transformation is great, but a 21-day transformation is even better. Because it's like, oh, shit, they knew you three, three, three weeks ago, you know? Haley, you said in your, your Gangster Rap Connections video that you don't like PD. PD? <laughs> personal development you do it because it's a vital behavior but you don't really like it so would you say that it's just being totally coachable that's changed you into a more confident person um honestly i just never wanted to go back to the other jobs that's it like i just knew that you either had to get uncomfortable or be uncomfortable for the rest of your life not liking it so like I just, the day I was in the grocery line, I'll never forget that. That's like a huge reason why I started this. I was just, had a panic attack. I almost fainted. I had to hold on to my husband, seeing him shuffle through the cards. And I was like, uh, I need to either get uncomfortable. That's why I made up the game Strap Connections that day. Or like in every single day, no matter what, or live like this forever. And I, I it's not like reading changed my life it's not like it's just like i needed to just do it or don't like do it or stay the same forever yeah reading helped it always helps like no matter what i i do i don't like it i always think i could be doing something better but i know it totally helps lately i've been um 
listening to it instead. It's like brand new to me. And it's actually great. Like no matter what, if I'm out, I don't like thinking by myself. I think bad things a lot of the times. So if I'm by myself, I'm like, Oh my God. Like today I was doing my hair. Um, and I was, it was all quiet. And so I just put on the, you are a badass while I was doing it instead. And all of a sudden I thought all awesome things, like I'm the best, I'm going to be the best. So you've got to do it. Otherwise it won't, you won't last here. Anybody else? Yeah, I really am sorry. I was over the place. I, I, I don't have. It was so good. Like every point that you made was fun. <laughs> it's perfect. Um, all right. Well, if you guys don't have any questions, yes, yeah, Stephanie, music for me. You guys know I'm into my bad bunny in the morning. Um, if you guys don't have any questions, make sure that you go and fill up your list of papers with your people that you're going to connect with tonight. All right. Haley, thank you so, 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 so much for taking time out to speak with us tonight. We really appreciate you because we know what it takes to overcome yourself and put yourself out there. So thank you for sharing with us tonight. Yay. Go be weird, guys. I love you all. <laughs> I love you. Bye, guys.